This is a technical video for Cheetah Wrap with a focus on cold weather install tips. On the outside of the box, be sure to remove and read the installation instructions PDF. Note that it has a low initial tack and the workspace and vehicle should be at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Yet, this can be hard to achieve during the winter months, so here are some good tips and tricks to get the right temperature. Check the surface temperature of the vehicle to see if it's below 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Raise the heat of the workspace if necessary to speed up the warming process. If the box of cheetah wrap was brought in from the cold, unbox it and let it stand upright to acclimate. To give the vehicle and material time to reach 70 degrees Fahrenheit, clean and prep the entire vehicle first. Opening doors can help speed up the warming process on each section of the vehicle. Note that Cheetah Wrap adhesive has a matte finish. This gives it a low initial tack, which allows it to easily slide across the surface. This extra low initial tack is a key ingredient in allowing it to conform to even the most complicated objects with super high quality. Yet, to get the adhesive to tack in cold weather, watching this demo is key for understanding the protocol shown in the rest of the video. Here, one half of the liner is cut away and the side with the exposed adhesive is applied to the hood of this fan. It's then heated, which activates the adhesive faster than it would at room temperature. The liner on the other half is left on, and then the panel is allowed to sit for two hours. The panel is then removed, and the liner removed from the side that was not applied. With both sides exposed now, you can see that the adhesive on the side that was squeegeed is glossy, which means that the final bond is high so even in cold weather, there will be no issues. To begin, pressure is key. Using only an application glove creates too low of initial tack, and avoid using too soft of a squeegee. Instead, use a medium hard squeegee, and the buffer should be thin like the blue monkey strip to get full transfer of force. A good step for small sections is to heat the surface with a heat gun right before install, as well as the panel of cheetah wrap that will be applied with the liner on. Once ready for install, remove the liner, heat the film, and secure the piece to the object by applying pressure along a key body line. Once set, heat the film again, and gently pull and evenly stretch out the tension to get full coverage. Once there are no wrinkles, then use firm overlapping squeegee strokes to apply. Once the excess film has been cut away, be sure to post heat immediately if it is a severe compound curve. For larger sections, especially with deep recessed areas, always check the surface temperature first. It should be at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. If it is below 70 degrees, warm the deepest recessed areas up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit so they stay warm during the install. For panels, a good tip is, when releasing the liner on cold surfaces, to place magnets on the wrap film so the rest of the liner can be safely removed. Then, use multiple squeegee strokes when making the permanent hinge on a flat section to anchor it in place. Then, the install can start. Here is a good example of how cold temperatures affect how the cheetah wrap film conforms into recesses. It continually pops out. To get it to form properly, option one is to heat the film, then apply it to the surface. For larger recessed areas, like on this fan door, option two is recommended. With the material bridging the area, heat set the top ridge, to hold it in place. Once set, to form it into the recessed area, use this sequential order. Heat, then form, then go over it again with heat and apply pressure a second time. Here's the sequence again, as it should be done in four easy steps. Heat and form, then go over the area with heat again, then apply pressure one more time. Once the recessed areas are secure, squeegee the flat section last and continue on. Option three is to use friction to set the film firmly on the surface. Here, an application glove forms the film on, then goes over the area multiple times. The combination of pressure and friction creates heat and creates long-term hold. The last option for getting the right temperature is to lift the panel back up and heat the surface on a critical area one more time, as it may have dropped in temperature since the panel was first started. For large, complex compound curves, like this fender, the three mil thickness of cheetah wrap in combination with the low initial tack and adding heat can help create high workflow as it can form easily to the shape. It can also help eliminate adhesive lines, which is key for getting happy customers. 
because an application glove is often used on these shapes, going over the area one more time with heat and a squeegee will apply the right pressure so the adhesive is fully set on the surface and all the air that can be left under the film with an application glove is pushed out. Now we get to the importance of post eating and here's a great demo to show it. One piece of the cheetah wrap is bridged over the recessed area and formed in. Due to the unique thickness, it can conform to this area quite easily. The piece is then removed and placed on a flat surface. And the impression of the recessed area can still be seen on the cheetah wrap. Another piece is applied to the exact same area. This time, once it's been applied, it's going to be post heated to a temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. This helps neutralize the memory factor of the film. And note that both sides were heated to the same temperature. The piece is then removed and set on the flat area. Even now, there's a clear difference between the two panels. Now heat will be added to both pieces. The panel that wasn't post heated shrinks back to its original shape, and the panel that was post heated stays in the shape of the recessed areas, which means that it'll hold onto the vehicle for the long term. The final demo for cold weather and finishing for Cheetah Wrap is to show that post heating doesn't take as long as people think. Here the door is going to be properly post heated in real time to a temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. It's critical to post heat all edges, compound curves of all sizes, as well as deep recessed areas. Using an IR thermometer and a heat gun is the best combination. All of this is done in 1 minute and 50 seconds which is fast and ensures a professional result. And note that if it's going to be below 55 degrees outside, allow the vehicle to sit in a climate controlled workspace for up to 48 hours so the material can properly bond and wet out. For more information and to order Cheetah Wrap, you can go to cheetahwrap.com. This has been a cold weather technical video for Cheetah Wrap, proudly made by the Wrap Institute.